Hello and welcome to another card of the day with Willow. So on today's show we're going to be doing the witchy cards and doing the love oracles which is a new set. Obviously with the witchy cards I will be reading you a more in detail script of what the spirits and the divine energies that I'm communicating with are trying to tell you. So I will read from that in a bit more description but obviously I will tell you what I get from them to give to you in messages. Obviously I will start by shuffling both sets of the cards. They will instruct me when to stop on what card they're wanting to reveal to you and I will give you the messages and the advice and wisdom and details that they're wanting you to know. So I'm sending you lots of love, light and blessings. I hope that you're all okay and let's start our card readings. So we're going to start by shuffling the Love Oracle cards. I'm asking my energies and my divine to come forward. I ask my guides, Aura or Darius, to please step forth and help me to do the reading and to give the fan messages. Please come forward. Beautiful cards. So, okay, so that one. Now doing the witchy ones, doing the same. Wait for them to instruct me to stop. Okay, so let's see what they have for us. So we've got Don't Go Backwards for the Love Oracle and the Moon for the Witch's Cards. So we'll start off with this one. So, let go of anything that should be left in the past is what your love card is saying. So, obviously a lot of us know that in life we have struggles and we have things that hold on to us that we've gone through and we've experienced. Sometimes it's really difficult to let go of the past and the things that we've gone through. Which means it holds you back and it stops you from being able to go forward. So this year and it being the wolf year and being the year of letting go of the old and the things that don't serve you and making place for the new things is most definitely something that you guys need to be doing you need to be putting what's happened to you and your experiences that have been unpleasant behind you they need to be in the past for you to be able to move forward i know that sometimes life can be difficult and it consumes you it upsets you you find it difficult to be able to find a way out of that situation or problem that's going on maybe things in your past have happened to you and they're quite traumatic things and you don't know how to let go seek help in yourself help yourself to be able to move past that by realizing how important you are as a being 
and that whatever you've gone through has made you a stronger and better person. So let go of the past. Don't go backwards, okay? It's time for you to move forward and to realise that, yes, you went through that, but it's made you a bigger and stronger person and that you can face your issues and problems and you can resolve them. So please, please take the advice that the spirits and my guides are giving you and obviously what I'm giving to you from them as well and what I'm feeling from it. So the next one is the moon card. Now we all know that the moon is a very powerful card. She's very much about movement and change. She's about giving you energy, giving you that strength to be able to do things. She empowers you in everyday life and for us spiritual practitioners and witches and shamans and so on she's a great energy for our work she is the element of the night obviously and the night time for a lot of people is a time to relax to sleep to rejuvenate our energy to re-strengthen who we are and this is what she is here for to do so let's just give you a bit more detail in what she's wanting to say to you just be on point and be comfortable in who you are and move forward she's here to guide you she has that light to guide you she has that energy to guide you she is one of the goddesses she is the lunar goddess to so take in all that she is giving you and know that she's there to benefit you and to help you. Just trying to find the card. It can be really hard in books. Just find her. No, she's at the. Uh, towards the back more than like me. Not finding her. The sun. And the moon so we have got the moon card so we're just going to read to you what it represents and I'll give you a bit more detail so the meaning of the card is this card of the crone goddess waning moon magic intuition and illusion it may also represent a de development of physic powers when this card appears in a reading, it reveals that people and situations are not always as they appear. The moonlight can be deceptive. What looks one way during the day may appear completely different under the shifting light of the moon. You need to look carefully at what you think you see. Call on your guides, totems and hecate to see past the fog and to recognize the truth use your physic gifts and trust your intuition work magic with hike now to see through any illusion and for the gifts of foresight wisdom and protection the key word the crone aspect of the goddess waning moon magic protection magic seeking through what others would keep hidden intrusion and the development of physic powers wisdom gained through years of life experience so she's coming forth to you to remind you of the energy and the power that you have within how strong and connected you are she's wanting you to use your abilities and to believe in your abilities and in yourself she wants you to come forward and manifest all that you desire to do the moon comes to you to give you that energy of the crown goddess 
she's wanting you to perform magic through protection, enlightening you, opening you and helping you to come forward in what you need to do. She's also got the aspects, as it says, to be giving you wisdom and helping you to gain insight into who you need to be. This card, our moon goddess, is very much about planning out your path and your journey and helping you to be on that right aspect and that right path to be able to achieve what you want to do. But it really starts within looking at yourself spiritually and taking the wisdom that your guides, totems and other energies give to you and the wisdom that you learn from things around you in your daily life as well. But also even sitting and talking to the moon and working with Hecate, which is an amazing goddess, and she is of the light and the dark, so she is balanced. She'll be able to help you to establish your power and energy and then help you to establish how to use it and how to do it safely. Putting protection and putting barriers around you is very important at this time because you are in that process of learning and going forward. But know that the energy of the moon and the energy of Hecate is there for you to call upon. The moon is very much about you taking chances and becoming something that you want to be. It's about you bringing out energy and power of yourself. Maybe something that somebody else doesn't feel comfortable with talking about, but maybe you feel very strong on this would be the time for you to talk about that the correct way and a way that can reach out to others. Let our moon goddess and call up on Hiko and let them help you to move forward to understand who you are and to be able to understand your craft, your abilities and who you are as a spiritual being. It's very important to understand that and to take that on with you guys and I hope that this reading has helped you to understand it a little bit more so again it was don't go backwards and the moon card so it is a lot about you just looking after yourselves recognizing who you are and what you're wanting to do and calling upon your energies and working with them trusting in yourself taking chances in things that others don't and doing it correctly keeping yourself protected keeping yourself moving forward and letting go of the past and the things that hold you back. Okay, so I hope that this has helped you out. And please join me, Willow, again for another card of the day tomorrow. But until then, I send you lots of love, light and blessings. I hope you have a blessed day. And Merry Python for me. And thank you for watching.